Meghan to begin her royal duties on Friday. Couple will undertake walkabout in Nottingham as part of intensive six-month tour of Britain. Meghan Markle is diving straight into her official royal duties with a trip to Nottingham on Friday. The visit, less than two weeks after she arrived from Canada, will begin an intensive six-month tour of the UK. Harry and his fiancé will even undertake their first public walkabout together in the city where Harry has spent a significant amount of time working with youth groups. Harry's spokesman, Jason Luff, said the prince was looking forward to introducing his fiancé to a community that has become very special to him. In her official engagement interview on Monday, Miss Markle said, Now being boots on the ground in the UK I'm excited to get to know more about the communities here, smaller organisations who are working on the same causes that I've always been passionate about. And also being able to go around the Commonwealth, I think it's just the beginning. By contrast, the Duchess of Cambridge undertook a small number of engagements after her wedding to Prince William in 2011 and made clear that she wanted to concentrate on being a military wife with him on Anglesey for the first year of married life. Miss Markle has long championed a number of her own charitable causes, including World Vision Canada and UN Women, which she is now regretfully giving up. Kensington Palace said she wanted to start her new life with a clean slate and devote herself to the issues that matter in the UK, a decision Harry has supported her in. Her first formal charity role will be as the fourth patron of William, Kate and Harry's own charity, the Royal Foundation, which enables the young royals to align themselves with groups working in areas such as young people, mental health, conservation and the military. She and Harry are also, the mail understands, being earmarked to her the new Queen's Commonwealth Trust charity. This charity will be formally launched in the lead-up to the Commonwealth Summit next April. A spokesman said yesterday that the Commonwealth was a big priority for the couple. Aides said yesterday that Ms Markle does not plan to take on any charities of her own yet, but confirmed that will inevitably develop in time. Her go-getting attitude and determination to hit the ground running is certainly being seen as a break of fresh air in royal circles. The royal spokesman added, Miss Markle is incredibly grateful for the opportunities she has had with World Vision Canada and with UN Women. She has through those organisations had the chance to meet incredible organisations right around the world, people doing great grassroots work but she has made the decision that she wants to start with a clean slate and focus on the UK and getting to know this country, travelling around the Commonwealth, and so the only role she will begin her royal life with is the Royal Foundation and that has been a decision that she has taken. Miss Markle has talked in the past about the issues she cares about and I am sure that those themes will continue in the future. But she has been very clear with us that her priority is getting around this country, learning about communities right around the UK, and any particular themes she will pick up I'll leave her to talk about in her own time. He added, the priority for her is the UK. Getting around the country and meeting those working at a grassroots level. She wants to spend this time learning about the UK. This is the country that is going to be her home now and she wants to spend time in the UK getting to know its towns and cities and smaller communities and that is what she is going to be doing. Prince Harry will still carry out a full programme of engagements but she will join him from time to time. We are looking forward to building a programme for the two of them around the country. The couple's engagements in Nottingham on Friday will begin with a visit to the Nottingham Contemporary, which will be hosting a Terence Higgins Trust World AIDS Day charity fair. Harry has long made clear his determination to take on the mantle of his late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, by championing those with Hive and AIDS and highlighting the needs for proper and regular testing. Appearing on a Kensington Palace operational note for the first time, Miss Markle and her fiancé will enjoy a walkabout outside before meeting groups working in the field including Terence Higgins Trust Nottingham, the African Institute for Social Development and Champions for Change. 
The couple will then travel to Nottingham Academy where they will meet head teachers from local schools and where as people working for Full Effect, a program working with children and young people in the deprived St. Anne's area of Nottingham and supported by the Royal Foundation. The charity supports children and young people from becoming involved in youth violence and crime through a combination of early intervention, mentorship and training. Before they leave Harry is keen to introduce his fiancée to Shanda Stefanovic who mentors young people in the area after coming through a difficult childhood herself and has become a friend and source of inspiration to Harry. They will also get to watch a performance put on by some of the full effect young people of their hip opera. His spokesman said he established the full effect program through the Royal Foundation the next year and is proud of the friendships and partnerships he has built there. His Royal Highness is looking forward to introducing Ms. Markle to a community that has become very special to him. Ms. Markle cannot wait to meet many of the young people Prince Harry has told her so much about 